Like it or not, Christmas is right around the corner. Do you find yourself each year thinking, this is the year I'm going to get my Christmas cards finished early, maybe by November 30th? But each year you're disappointed because December 25th rolls around and those Christmas cards you were thinking about are still up in your head. I understand. We're going to work together to create a plan to get your Christmas cards created this year using some simple yet fun techniques and concepts that will get you creating Christmas cards in 30 minutes or less. To get started with your quick and easy Christmas cards, I like to pull out my card panels from the paper collections, and you'll see this one has five different card bases. So what I'll do is I will cut apart all the card bases within a paper collection. The Snow Kissed paper collection is perfect. This one has 30 card panels. We also have the Celebrate the Season uh, paper collection that you can use as well. That one has 30 card panels too, just a little bit different color scheme. So once you've cut those apart, you've created your card bases. This one is what will be your quick and easy 15 to 20 minute card. So you'll just go ahead and glue your card panel to the card base. And then um, if you want something that's a little bit more advanced, um, you may want to take a die and cut out, what I did is I cut out this piece. This is using a cut mat create die and that just opens the center. So you could do that um, with some of the cards if you wanted to take it to the next level. So we'll just glue this base around the outer edges, adhere this to the card base. So you'll see that's positioned. Then you'll just take your foam dots and give this a little bit of dimension. So with the scenes already colored, and in the background, that gives you the ability to add just a couple accents to create those beautiful cards. So here we already have all these bases together um, from all five card panels within this paper sheet. To create the embellishments for the cards, I am using the Celebrate the Season stamp and die set along with the Ornate Sleigh and Presents and the gift wrap present stamp set. So you can go ahead and just stamp a bunch of these images. I like to do this um, all at one time, so it really saves a lot of your time. Um, so I layered a lot of the, the um, ivy border, the presents, and the gloves onto one acrylic blocks, and we're gonna stamp these all at once. Um, you could do the same thing with your poinsettias that you're gonna be stamping multiple times, along with the holly leaves. You just wanna make sure that everything is inked up properly. So we'll just lay this down, and this will also allow you, once you've stamped them, to lay your dies on top and cut all these images out with one pass of the machine, which is amazing. So once that's stamped, you'll go ahead. If you have an area that did not stamp, that just means I didn't press down hard enough, so you'll wanna watch out for that, especially if you're laying a lot of images on top. That does happen sometimes. So your next step before you uh, move on, you'll wanna color these. So some quick and easy coloring option. Let's just go ahead and color the gloves so you can see how easy that is. So we'll use our sponge dauber. I'm using the Lilac Posies. Go into the middle of the glove, just give a little bit of color, and then we'll go back. We'll add a little bit of chambray to the strings of the glove and around the edges of the gloves. So that creates a very beautiful glove very quickly. For the poinsettias, here's one that I have already cut out. I just added a little bit of color in the center, and then I did the outer edges with the chambray ink. So I highly recommend just sitting down and making a lot of these embellishments all at one time, and that one is ready to be shaped. Now, one thing I wanted to point out too is when you run these through your machine, you can just lay these dies on top, and that will cut all of those images out 
with one pass of the machine, which is awesome. So we're gonna lay this to the side and we're gonna show you how to quickly shape these um, poinsettias. So you're going to just spray some water on the back, use a three millimeter tip, and that will kind of help to ruffle that poinsettia. Press down in the center, and then you're ready to layer those two poinsettias together for accents on your card. So after you've created all these embellishments, you're ready to add them to the card base. So for this one, I want to keep it very simple, just one poinsettia, so I'm going to pop one on the corner, um, and I'll maybe use my scissors to just press down in the middle. Typically, I would use my stylus. Um, and then I will clip apart this holly leaf to kind of make it um, stretch out a little bit so it doesn't get hidden underneath the poinsettia. We'll pop one in on this side, and we'll pop one in on the opposite side. Oops, let's just move that around, just make sure that stays into place. So you have those two pieces, and then if you wanted to add a little bit more of an embellishment, you could take these, I like to cut these apart, and just add little accents of the leaves, um, wherever it kind of fits very well. Um, I'll maybe cut this apart in here. And we'll have little sections of these leaves just popping out from underneath that poinsettia. So we'll maybe um, put this in like this so you have that leaf on that side and then maybe clip off the ends of this one. So this um, leaf spray you can really use um, and cut it apart and use it across two to three different cards just having one piece. So we'll have one that goes up here and then you could use one of the sentiments that comes off of that paper um, like I did on this card. You could finish it off with your glitter accents if you want to take the next card to a little bit more of a um, more accents, you could add a present to this one. I have some little cutouts from the die on the side. So you can really embellish it as much or as little as you want. Here's another card from that same paper piece using three poinsettias and then adding some buds on the side. So those are some ways that you can quickly and easily create those Christmas cards and I just arrange the poinsettias a little bit differently be depending on the size of the panel, but you can use the same basic concept across all the cars within those paper collections. Follow these techniques and you're gonna have those Christmas cards done early and gifted to your friends. Make sure to start by adding up how many different friends you wanna give Christmas cards this year and then separate that by how many months you have remaining until Christmas. To make sure that you can quickly and easily assemble those cards, make sure you have those paper pads I showed you. I have added the links below for quick and easy ordering, so make sure to get those today so you can get started right away. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe so you won't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next time.